a piece of person who who has a small who needs this car to feel good about himself. That's all you are. Well, we now know you're a small man with a small. Put that on YouTube. Well, now we know why you're mad at me. Yeah, because you're a small man. Out of here, bro. What's that? Get the out of here. You're blocking the street. <laughs> you're the one that stopped me. Get the out of here. I don't leave when you tell me. Get the out of here before I get you out of here, my friend. Oh, with the clown. Yeah. Derek, jump in his car and drive it away. There you go. <laughs> drive it away. <laughs> Out of here. Yeah. Like to put cameras in people's faces, causing a disservice. Hey, you guys no, stopped me. You almost hit me right there. You guys saw me. Around. Hey, small. Dude, hold on. Hold on. Small. You mother. Is I'm a what small you are. mother. That's right. That's right. You are. Okay. Get the yeah. camera off my neighborhood. You dumb. This is public area. I don't give a. Totally break. legal. The slow down. Pay attention to the speed limits. Kids live here. I know. So I was speed limit. You guys don't like it. Mother. You, you don't like not. it. I you was. You not. You small <laughs> piece of you guys shit. have a video? Do you have a video? Yeah, I got a camera on my house. Go. Perfect. Go get it. Get the out of here. Let's do this. You guys hey, want hey, to cause a disturbance. Hey, hey, Call the cops. Get the out of here. Fucking little <laughs> mother. <laughs> if you're not the police, don't act like the police. So you hit my car with that. Oh, I, I don't know, did I? You did. Huh? No, you did that on video. I was there. I was there. Perfect. Well, I guess no one's leaving now. So that's how people want to act. We'll just have to wait for the police now. Look at this. Smash my windshield. That guy with the uh <laughs> the sledgehammer. I'm the guy in the car that got stopped on the street and uh yeah, someone just, uh, one of these people who are calling you just hit my car with a sledgehammer and uh, smashed the wind. Damage? Yeah, smashed the windshield. Okay, hold on one moment. Thank you. There's the guy right there in the all black. Sorry about that. No worries. Medium build, what color hair? Black hair. And what color shirt is he wearing? He's wearing a black shirt with black pants. And he's still holding the sledgehammer? No, sledgehammer's on the sidewalk now. And, uh,. He's working on a site right here. He's literally working outside okay. in this yard, acting like nothing I was, happened. I was talking to one of one of the people that are standing there. Yeah. And they said that the argument. Hold on one moment, please don't hang up. No worries. David is D A M O N. Yes, ma'am. Okay, they're on the way to speak to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Well, that was wild. That is not how I saw my day going. Man, this, we're down to we're down to one car. <sighs> yeah. So this guy here in the green, sir. This guy here in the green jacket or shirt to your left, he jumped in front of my car. He jumped in front of your car. Yeah. Once he stopped my car, he proceeded to yell. I have a, I grabbed my camera as quick as I could. Okay. Started calling me names, telling me I have a small people who drive these cars or pieces of shit. Super emotional, so that's obviously. How you doing, sir? Hold on one sec, I'll, I'll speak with you guys separate. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that, yeah. No problem. Yeah, okay.
Um, so that was obviously. Okay, you want to do me a favor? Yeah. Just hang by your car. I'm gonna speak with him real quick. Okay, so someone yeah. hit my car with a sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I'm gonna. That was him, right? No. Okay, which one? Guy in black shirt, black pants. He has a little. He has black hair. He's one of the. He's one of the workers. He went inside the shop. Okay. This guy, who obviously works on this site might be trying to cover some of this up. He took the sledgehammer quickly put it in the truck. So is this guy like the boss or what's his? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Like this is all new to me. I was just okay. driving to my shop and he's like, you need to f slow down. And I'm like, bro, I'm not, I'm not speeding. Okay. I know the car's loud. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he started name calling and it was like, it's like emotionally right away. There was no calm, okay. like, hey man, can you just slow down? Or like, hey, your car's loud. There's no reasoning. It was immediate threat state immediate heightened emotions nobody was calm but me okay and i was like hey man this is this is crazy like you're yelling at me okay. so um he did that took me off to the side and then his worker grabbed the sledgehammer and hit my car and like like yeah. your destroyed it busted. yeah so that yeah. uh that uh weapon or whatever you want to call it, it, it it's in here it's in this truck he put it away it's right here you can see it okay. I don't want to walk on any of the property or sidewalk. This public, it's public. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I was trying to like explain that. They're all like, turn your camera off. And I'm like, uh. So that's the sledgehammer. That's it? Okay. And the guy who hit it, you might want to try to go and find him because he's probably trying to dip right now. He was out here working, but now the cops are here. He's going to try to take off. What does he look like? He had a black shirt, black pants. He looked like he had almost like a bit of gray in the front of his hair. Or maybe it was paint. Okay. Um, Middle-aged little heavier set not huge but like a little heavier set guy hispanic right i think so hispanic okay so yeah. he he was out here he was a witness he was sitting there with the other guy that's the guy he's the guy who hit my car so there you go okay he's the dude that hit it. it okay yeah we'll, we'll talk with him real quick okay Let's see what we got thank you sir no worries yeah. so we got costa mesa police here so we'll see what happens here because they're going to want to talk to this guy So where are you coming from? I'm coming from uh, my hotel okay, and I'm going to my shop in Huntington Beach okay. and I was driving this route, the main road, okay. and my GPS said to take a detour, right? It was doing the weird GPS thing. So I turned and I came down here and I got stuck in a cul-de-sac and then my GPS said to turn around and go back because of the construction. I think it was trying to give me a detour. Mm -hmm. So I got stuck in a cul-de-sac down here, turned around and came back. Okay. okay? I'm doing like 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. Okay. When I come out back the, the whole time, because I live in a residential area, I'm 44, I have three kids, I'm not ripping, I'm in no hurry to get to work. I'm just cruising down this side street thinking that I'm gonna go this different route. Mm. On my way back, this guy jumps out from this truck Where and he? right in, he was right here, right by this truck, jumps standing, out. Standing outside of the truck? Yes. Okay. Gets right in front of my car and just immediately starts going off. High, high level of emotion. Saying what? Saying I was speeding and I'm like, I wasn't speeding. And he was like, you're speeding. You have a small calling me all these names right away, immediately saying that people own these cars or whatever he said on the camera, something like basically insulting me in the car. And I was like, well, the car, has, the make and model of the car has nothing to do with if I was speeding or not. So immediately I'm like, well, this guy doesn't have a problem with how fast I was going because I wasn't speeding. He has a problem with the car. He doesn't like, he doesn't like whatever connotation is associated to people with Lamborghinis. Because that's what he was saying right away. So that's what this is all over. Uh, so what ultimately are you looking to get done with this guy? And did you want to uh, see if you guys can go through insurance? Did you want to ha have him arrested? Or what are we looking to have done? Oh, he should be charged. You can't pick up sledgehammers and start hitting people's property okay. and or people. I know. I didn't, I didn't say that in order to imply that. No, no. I understand. Um, how much do you think for the uh, a new windshield? If you can $5,000. 5000 Yeah. I've had one replaced before. Did. Oh. All right. Um, you can look in it. I just want to scratch it, but did it no, okay. go damage anything inside on the dash? Or that's just all. That's his glass from when he hit it just now. Okay. Okay. So the only thing we're looking at, not the only thing, but is the windshield. Uh, I believe so. Did it doesn't look like he hit the a pillar or anything. No, he hit it once and walked away because mm -hmm. I was here when he did it the whole time. Okay. 
so they are detaining the guy here who hit my windshield. So the cops are now basically talking to everybody and we'll see what happens next. There's never a dull moment in this business or in California. I literally was meeting Damon at the shop. He went ahead of me to meet the insurance adjuster for the 720. And I get there and he's not there. I'm like, where the hell's Damon? This isn't like him. And uh, so I tell the insurance lady and then Damon texts me going, somebody hit the SVJ with a sledgehammer. And I'm like, what? So finally he called me and he's like, please right now, I can't talk. Send me the pin of where he is and I'm gonna go check it out. Doing? You know, in the future, if you just, if you're calm to send your message to someone, like, I would have just uh, got out and explained that, like, I don't normally drive you didn't down. just get out. Sorry? You didn't just get out. That's not what you did. Well, I sat in my car before you guys all not yelled at, all. at me. You almost took me out right there, dude. You were doing 65 down the street. Miles an hour? Yeah. Fast mm -hmm. enough that when I did a half turnaround, really? there wasn't even a car there. I went to back up and you were already flying. Really? Yeah. 65? At least. Exactly. At least. Is it radar detector or? No. Just, oh, no. you're here too. I was here. Oh, but you're with this group. My neighborhood. So this is your house? It's my neighborhood. So It's your neighborhood. You own the, you own the neighborhood? You don't have to uh, interact yeah. with this Yeah, group. probably not. Yeah. Thank you. So now I get it. They're all together. <laughs> but there you go. Everybody yelling at me is all together as a group. So they, they obviously have a huge issue with this car and obviously what it's perceived, um, you know, owner is like, but I'll tell you right now, like that is not the way to handle a situation. If you're trying to get someone to listen to you, because you, you're, you're upset about something or, or you want to convey a message. It, calling names, swearing, yelling at the top of your lungs, telling people you're physically gonna force them to do something or harm them is not the way to do it. And then to escalate it even further and start damaging people's property that we work very hard for, and I love this car, is not the way to send the message. There's more to it around like, yeah, it brings up insecurities and all that, but this is the highest liability state in California. Even being part of that and initiating that, everyone here could be involved in a civil lawsuit. Like, this is a million dollar car. The guy in the beanie was the one that was right here, right? This guy? Sorry, sir? The guy in the beanie was the one that was right here, right? Yeah, Same he's guy. a part of this. He's, okay. he's now working on site here. But was that the guy that you were talking to yeah. in the video? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, they're all together. Yeah, just give us one moment. Uh, you can chat with a couple other people and then uh, we'll go from there, okay? Yes, sir. So where's the guy who hit my car that I have video of him over with there. the sledgehammer in hand? He's over there in the grass. Uh, mm -hmm. So what's gonna happen to him? Oh, he'll, he'll be placed under arrest, but I'm saying so in during that, if you wanna situate the car, whatever, have it in drivable condition, if you wanna sweep the dash or get whatever. Okay. I'll give you a case number and then once we leave, we're just asking that you guys take off too. Cause well, we I'll leave right have, away. Yeah, we don't wanna have you guys linger around and no. then well, something else fall again I, I want to no, no, no. I want to reiterate sure. I was trying to I was calm you can see in the video I, I I'll give you the whole video I, I was calm while everyone was yelling at me and calling me names all at the same time yeah I, I, I think what I'm essentially trying to say is I think that um, a lot of the people are kind of ganging up of course from the neighborhood right yes, you sir. got homeowner you got neighbor neighbor's wife workers all that type of stuff right yeah they're all together so, if you guys want to take off and then yeah. kind of go there, okay? Good question for you. Sure. As far as uh, the, the damage and cost, is that a civil matter? We sue them or how does it work? No, so what you can do is if you want to take it to whatever shop and get a firm estimate and get paperwork, recontact us. You can scan it in or send an email, format, whatever. Right now we're working with an estimate. The misdemeanor to felony differentiation is anything $400 or more. So 5,000 minimum, we're yeah, minimum, fine. Yeah. For that purpose right but this, for this is a more formal yeah. purposes email us or whatever recontact us with like an invoice from it'll come from a lamborghini in newport yeah. beach yeah whichever uh but uh sooner uh sooner than later i know we can I, then, you had that, then what do you do with it? that's for charge as far as us getting paid back is that that would be well i, I can't that's for insurance that that that's insurance, insurance and or through the court system Got whatever it. a judge a judge might say you have to pay him back Right. And then will he go to, to get like processed and put into jail today or get released right away? Um, 
it's a felony vandalism, so if he were to be able to make bond and bail out, he could be released. Got but it. We'll physically be taking him. Got it. Cool. Absent, you know, if it was like a misdemeanor, we could uh, issue someone a, a citation. Right. Or if it would be likely to continue, we could physically take him. But we'll take him physically, uh, get him booked in up there. And then uh, if they can't make bail, then they get transported to a county jail. Okay. Thank you for being so professional yeah, no, no and bringing worries, a few officers and it's, you it's guys are good. really good at what you do. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, it is unfortunate. Just, like, uh, it just do it also just doesn't make sense. Like, it, if you were going to deliver a message, even if you're not a trained police officer, is your first reaction to come up and start yelling? That's the delivery method, like calling names. Yeah, you have just, a small. That's why you have this car. You, this is why yeah, you need to feel just, good about yourself. Just like, keep in mind just the whole. We'll call. It, I'll call it team aspect. It's the whole neighborhood. Yeah. Construction workers, homeowners, neighbors, people in relation to them versus you. So you're the focus. You got. You got basically. I'm the foreigner. Yeah. You got pummeled. Yeah. Right. So okay. take what it is. Yeah. Um, okay. At least you don't have to go down the street anymore. Yeah, you go from there. Just yeah. uh, email us uh, the yeah. footage yeah. and then, uh, whenever possible the invoice for the, the thing. We'll make sure we'll you get, get out of here. Yeah. yeah. No worries. Thank, thank you, sir. All right, be careful. All right. We'll, we'll get out of here. Hey, what's up, boss? Thanks, bro. Damn. Well, we'll go get it fixed. And we're back at the DDE HQ. We can't make this up. Dude. We can't make this up. It's DD baby every day is super crazy. 